Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon. I'm Charlie Garen, hello. And this shifty looking fella is Link from Wind Waker. So, last episode, you got yourselves a leaf. Mm -hmm. Get blown. And uh, we are at the doorsteps of the Forbidden Forest, where I'm gonna try my best at getting through the dungeon as, as uh, quickly as possible. I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna make it in one episode, but I have high hopes about it. Ah, yes, this place. I, I doth recall. I think you can just fly into the middle there. Yeah. So, there we go. Also, another thing about those um, bubble butts is they uh, refill your magic meter a little yeah, bit. I can go up there. Yeah, I think that is because they intended them to be used in combination with the uh, magic leaf like this, so that you well, can just yeah. indefinitely just climb up. Yeah. Without having to be like, oh, I don't have enough magic for this right now. Yeah. Flying around that. Okay. Jellies! Oh. Yeah, be careful, there's a bomb. Get blown! Sorry! Oops. Well, that's semi work. Also, can somebody please drop a heart? That's n thanks. That's I mean, oh, there, there is go. a heart. Thank you. I mean, we have we have a fairy and we have a blue potion. Yeah, but I don't want to use those things. Uh, eat that, bubble bot. I don't want to use them uh, right now, just for like essentially nothing. Okay, I thought that was not close enough, but I just barely did that. I'm gonna have the map open here. Yeah. Just to let me know where the heck we're going. I'm still rooting for a Switch version for, of uh, Wind Waker HD so we can have the minimap on the TV again. Yeah. I th the minimap would be right where our faces are at this point. Yeah. I think this is literally... Because this is like this, like one big open spot and this is where our faces are gonna go. Yeah. I think this is literally the only, literally the only thing that I have that I have my complaints about the uh, HD version. They don't. And I get that it came out uh, during the time of the Wii U where Nintendo was like, we gotta use the gamepad. Yeah, but that is something that with Nintendo, for the most part, is something that uh, bothers me to this day with uh, not only uh, the gamepad but also with. Uh, the DS, the 3DS, the 3DS. Well, the 3DS was a bit better yeah, about it. It was better about it because you could turn it off. It was not a necessity, but a lot of games that came out at this point had the 3D feature. But and it's not as bad because it was not like you have to keep 3D on, otherwise we don't gonna let you play the game. Yeah. Which was the thing with the DS with when you're gonna have to use touch controls. There's no other way to play this game, which was at times not left-hander friendly. Well, some games let you um, activate left mode for for the touchpad, but yeah. yeah. Uh, especially early on in the DS's life, uh, life cycle, uh, a lot of games just shoved in touchpad controls because, oh well, there, there's a touchpad now, so we gotta use it. Yep. Uh, for, for instance, uh, that's what a lot of people dislike about Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Yeah, but I'm... Um, I feel like Dawn of Sorrow is uh, the least offensive in that regard. Especially especially once you realize that you actually have um, don't have to immediately swap to the touchpad once you defeat uh, a boss. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people think that... How can I set down? Uh, ZR. Because, Oops. because... Can we take that off? I want to have something else on that button, because I constantly press it. Uh, do, do you want the leaf on Y? I want a leaf. Anyway, we can open that now. Uh, red rupee. Red rupee. Uh, yeah, put the leaf on Y. Okay. That's the grappling hook. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because uh, I think it's way easier if you set um, items that uh, force you into first person mode. Uh, to put them on our yeah, so can, for like so you can, sorry, so you can view around with the with the right stick since that's um, that's a little bit on the edge. 
But that's how Link likes it, living on the edge. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. That sounded like the dog farted behind us, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna be in for a treat here in a moment, I guess. I'm gonna... Preemptively, good choice. Well, I'm not doing this the right way. I was tracking along nicely. And then... A simple task happened. Why? And then the third room of the of the dungeon happened. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hold up. It's it's been a while since we played it, so yeah. my age is showing. How how to button? What button does what? And why does that button work? Help. Anyway, let me go up there. Let me grab the thing. I find it kind of hilarious how as soon as you pick it up, you can see the thing starting to decay. Yeah. To be honest, I always kind of liked how uh, that effect looks like. Yeah, it has something fun. To be honest, I think um, GameCube, and I think GameCube and PlayStation Two era games. Uh, still have a, a really appealing look to them. Yeah. Also, yeah. Ah, yeah, that was that thing. I could not cut those down, right? Nope. You need to, um, you need to lose, use the leaf. Ah, yeah, that's right. That was the thing with that. Also, oh, right, sorry, I'm doing the thing again. Where I'm being like, where I'm being like a backseat gamer. <laughs> with, uh, with games I really like. Yeah. It happens. It's okay. So I wanna apologize for those times I've already done it and in advance for the times I'm going to do it, even though I don't intend to be uh, a nuisance with that. Because the fun of those games is like figuring stuff out for yourself. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's a, it's a platform puzzle game after all. That's what the Zelda games always are. No. They have puzzles. Well, yeah, but they're not platformers. There's enough platforming in this series to be considered a platformer as well. I could I could consider Zelda 2 a platformer, but not Wind Waker. Those are platforms. I'm jumping from one to another. It's a platformer. I don't like that this actually makes sense. <laughs> it is rude, right? I grab us some rupees. How much uh, limit did we have in our pouch? Uh, in HD, we can have uh, 500 rupees uh, from the get-go. Alright, 500. Okay, so we are yeah. still good to go. But in uh, GameCube, the the initial limit for the wallet is, I think... Ah, yeah, that was this... 300? One. Either 200 or 300. I think, I think it started with 2. I'm not 100% sure though. There's nothing down there. 250. 255. Which was the rupee, which was the rupee limit that uh, Zelda wall let you carry because programming. Yeah. It's uh, yellow rupees. Come here, buddy. If I'm gonna take these out, I'm gonna take you up with them. Come on. I still, I still actually kinda like that in order to use uh, the bow and arrow in Zelda 1, you had to uh, pay from your wallet instead of having a separate uh, ammo count for your arrows. It's a kind of fun thing. It's Which to this day I see as Link doesn't have any uh, doesn't, um, doesn't arrows have really, but just have, has a bunch of sticks and just ties the rupees to it. Because and the rupees are always shown as being sharp and jagged things. I mean, it's a fun theory, but you do have to buy uh, arrows separately from the shop. Yeah. Ow. So it's probably them just using a shortcut with, so they so they didn't have to uh, program in a a ammo system because yeah. I can imagine that uh, being pretty difficult to do for a for an early uh, NES game. Yeah, I'm per chance. Ow. But uh, in game, uh, technically, I like my theory of yeah. it being just he actively shoots them with rubies. I mean, honestly, getting shot with one of those things probably will kill you. Thank you, buddy. 
that was flawed. Ugh. Sorry, that shot up a little bit too far for my liking there. Give me, give me hearts. I'm running into way too many spikes here. This grass is tough and unforgiving. Yeah, honestly, this this grass doesn't want to have you. <laughs> this that you have anything. This grass was basically the uh, uh, Pokemon encounter rate from uh, the Generation One Pokemon games. <laughs> no. Like it's not just it's not just oops oops it's not just me right where like sometimes it feels like uh, there's like barely any uh, Pokemon encounters in the grass in uh, Generation One. Yeah. Gen One was weird that way. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty important set of games, but uh, programming wise, they had to do some weird I shit. I was not expecting that. There's to arts. There's arts. Let go. Well, programming wise, they had to they had to do some weird shit to get it uh, fit on the on the Game Boy cartridge. Yeah. Honestly, I don't want to go through this whole mess here, so I'm just gonna go back here and fly over all of it. Because I don't need the pods otherwise, I just wanted to check them for some help. And I got that, so I can leave now. Fly me through the roof. Fly me through the roof and let me kick its fucking ass. Let me show it what I learned in my roof, shoot shit so class. And if you wanna subscribe to my roof, shoot shit so class, don't. Why? <laughs> Who would need that? Get alive. The roof has nothing done to you. That's a true jelly. I am on my way. Also, let me kill you. And give me your jelly. Technically, we could have stolen your jelly. Yeah. But, I mean, murder is fine too. You know, sometimes you just need to go for murder. <laughs> this one just... Please don't. Oh, this lifts me up. Please not in mind. real life. But I think... I think I want to go to that one first. Uh, I don't know, I feel like there was something up there that you should maybe grab. Uh, hmm, perhaps. So we're going up first then. Let's just go, let's just check it. I mean, it's probably there for a reason. I mean, 100%. But my uh, thought was, we have to go up here anyway later on to cut it down. That's why I was kind of like, let's skip it for the moment. Unless that will help us get here. It's a more point. Up. We can't do this yet, so I'm just gonna go over there. Boop. Hmm. Now that's a locked door. Yeah, the drop rate of items in this grass is kind of rude. Come here. Where the heck are you? Where the heck are you? I mean, why can I not focus on the thing? D did you not hit the button? I did. It, for some odd reason, maybe it was just a little bit too close to me and the camera was like, I can't find it. Probably, yeah. Buddy, screw off. You know how it is with uh, cameras in 3D games. Yeah, not always the most reliable sort. I feel like camera systems are a huge fucking pain in the ass to uh, design for 3D games. Yeah. Oh, it's the first instance of these thingies. Yeah. Honestly, I like it. Oh. Sorry, I got a prompter to do something there. Ooh. Well, that was a lucky one with the dodge backwards. Not gonna pretend like that was a planned one. That was just a lucky one. Good blown. And you leave. Okay. That's one of those roller things. For a moment I heard the low health sound from Paper Mario. I don't know why. Okay. Come here. God, Paper Mario will also be a fun game to play for your channel. Yeah, I would say maybe as a next series after Wind Waker. Yeah, let's let's see. Depending on whether or not we are in the mood for that at this point. Yeah. I mean, uh, Paper Mario 1 is available on the Switch, so we wouldn't, uh -huh. e we wouldn't even have to um, bust out my Wii U. 
Oh, well, that works. Because I think I have, I think I have all, all three of the uh, original Paper Mario re-releases they've done. No, that's I not. I have it. I have the Wii Virtual Console version one on on my use Wii Wii mode. I have the Wii U Virtual Console version, and I have and I've got the expansion pass for Nintendo Switch Online. Cool. But on the Switch, we can play with the controller. Oh. Now oh, that's nice. With that weird controller. Yeah. I think the GameCube controller is still one of the more more comfortable controllers they've designed. Yeah, even though the D-pad is uh, kind of garbo on that one. Also mini boss. Come here. Interesting. There we go. Get blown. Also, I don't, I don't know if I've ever um, talked about the mini boss battle theme, but I really like it. The mini boss battle themes in this game are really good. Wind Waker generally has a really good soundtrack. Yeah, like, it does. I think it has a has a bit of an Irish feel. That's always what it kind of sounds like to me. Come down here. I'm not sure I do this fight right, but mm, probably not. I feel it like works. So. Oh, you've got one off one wing. Nice. Yeah. Uh, collect the hearts. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Stop it. Another wing down. And now I just need to hack and slash at you. Now it's a, it's the normal enemy. Yeah, I think. Which is a cool idea. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this one's called uh, Mothula. Mothula. Yeah, uh, Mothulas are common. Uh, appear a bunch of times in the Zelda series. I think in uh, A Link to the Past, it's the boss from one of the dungeons. Oh yeah, I think. I was it I, was it Misery Maya? Yeah. Uh, I think the swamp one in, uh, in the dark world. Also, we've got the boomerang. Yeah, I can pick up objects with that. Also, this one has a fun new app. You can target five targets at once. I'm gonna put that one on. Oh, oh no. Recording logo is a nightmare. Gonna come back in a second. Okay, we're back. The dog is... Well, I don't wanna say happy again, but he's feeling better. So I don't think. Oh no, there is a thing in here that yeah. I need to do. Is it just the two or is there more? There should just be the two. It's the two of them. Good. So yeah, this boomerang has a has a hot new app. Yes. And you can target uh, up to five. Uh, it has an aim bot essentially. Yeah. And this app was so good that they brought it back in uh, Twilight Princess and made it even better. Yeah. Also for these enemies, I really love it. Yeah. Because they just lose their flick, freaking wings and that makes them stupidly easy to take down. I mean, I think, do they grow them back eventually? I don't know, I don't think so. Because I've always uh, defeated them. But this one was bouncing around for a while there and it did not grow it back. So I think, from the looks of it, they don't get their wings back. Bye! Oh. Well, but then one decided to jump down on its own. Anyway, now we can enter all of these doors with a handy dandy boomerang app. Oh yeah, but uh, here in Wind Waker that um, the targeting thing is uh, automatic. In Twilight Princess you had to press uh, a button in order to target something specific. Yeah. I mean also uh, uh, a good decision overall. Yeah. And there we go. Made it back safe and sound. Get a heart. There's a ledge. Be careful. Don't fall. Joy pendant. Oh, joy. Also, I think we can close the window again. Even though it's really nice and comfort. Outside, very soft. Can I hit all of them from here? Yes. Nice. I always did the standing right on it. Uh, 
was about to say, don't forget which button the leaf is. The game was gonna tell me which button the leaf is before I land on the ground. No, nope. just like just like Breath of the Wild did. Ah. Good yeah, face. This, yeah, this is the way to uh, get back up. Nope, this is the way to land in the map. Anyway, let's go in here and do the thing. The thing that I need to do is kill someone. Sorry, I just wanted to take a really good look at you. Sometimes getting really confused with the buttons. <laughs> Let's do that. Because I feel like um, the grappling hook would be a little bit more useful than uh, the thing. Yeah, honestly, I think it's better to just... Ah, yes! I forgot that they acted as spores, essentially. I don't think I ever tried that. I think I remember that I tried that once and I was like, but well, that was just weird. Wait. Yeah, let's just do it like this. I don't want to fall into the market. Oh yeah, those, those like, like, those uh, grabby hands. Yeah. Um, I think. I think they're known as Dexy hands. Dexy hands. Also, they grow back. That's also something to yeah. point out. You can cut them once. Ooh, if bro. they if they take a hold of you, they will drain your magic gauge. Yes. There's a lot of money that I just got from that, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, I uh, remember this. Uh, first, yeah. Yeah. That. First things first. I'm gonna grab that over there. More yellow rupees and 400 is. We're getting close. Um, how did I open that one up? There's a bump there. Okay, so. Um, can I actually. Ooh, <laughs> that was a little bit too close. Nice. But also, there's an option. Oh, I should probably deal with that one first. I'm so happy that this worked uh, first try. Because I was not expecting to do this this instant. Is this far enough? Yep. Apparently it is. Uh, looking at the map... This is just a treasure room, the other one flows around to another treasure room. So let's do that first. Because I'm not gonna come back for that. Oh! I remember this room because um, it's part of the. Um, if you want to go for the Tingle statues, which there's no hint towards in the HD version for some okay. reason. Well, that's kind of rude. Mac, got you. Want to do the fun thing again? Hi! <laughs> Didn't work as well with uh, that one as it did with the other one, but anyway. But everyone else has never seen that. Wait, how did you? You need to uh, put away. Uh, you, in order to crawl, you need to put away um, whatever you hold. Put it away. Crouch. Yeah, right. but. Oh, yeah, that's right. You needed to blow this up. Mm -hmm. So, it didn't do me Also, anything. apparently those uh, things can record their wings. Yeah, I also figured that out. It just takes them apparently a while, but yeah. you get it back. How about you don't? Baba come out. Baba come to play. Also, they seem to regrow them faster uh, if they are in like the water. Seems like it. So, if they are like in the bad spot. I do not like that but um, sound like every second or so because oh, yeah. it makes me feel like uh, I'm running super low on uh, magic, which is not the case. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's a nice indicator of like, hey, you're using up your magic, but it's also like not empty yet, am I? I think I just could grab that and throw it down from there, right? I think. Yeah. Also, screw off. Oh, nice. 
It works. Yeah, I think I think you can just Roll. chop in from above. Whee! And now I can do that. Nice. Very good. Very bomb. Much, much explode. Treasure charge. treasure charge. So this was mostly for something that we did not necessarily need to do. Come on, crawl but it's up. But it's gonna be useful for later. Yeah. But I'd say we should go for the treasure maps once we've uh, upgraded our wallet like once or twice. Yeah, I would say so too, because otherwise we're just gonna waste some uh, time and money. Oh yeah, that thing is back up there now. I'm not a happy camper about this one. Well, if you cut it down before getting the treasure chest up there. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's just do it like this. I know it worked out last time, but... Can I really be sure that it was gonna work out again? The answer is no, and I'm not gonna chance it. I've been going on a sailboat. It is a flower. Okay, yeah. Interesting tad bit. If you don't do anything, it just auto redirects it towards them. Seems like it. So that's just a nice little thing to know. Okay, uh, boomerang. Okay, that's a good thing to know as well. Well, yeah, how else would you, um, how else would you stun the electric? Choo -choo? No, 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 I mean, it stunned the choo choo while it was still, oh. uh, in its blob form, so that's what I mean by it. That's good to know. Also, Welcome on Spiral Mountain. Also, apparently this is uh, one of the houses from one of the Kokiri in Ocarina of Time. Oh. I've, I've read somewhere that this may be uh, Saria's house. Or oh. Salia. Well. Oh, you. I think you hit the stump. Yeah, I'm gonna go around like this then. Let's start it off here. Yeah. The stump seems to have blocked it, so this is an easier way to do it. And with easier, I mean safer. Also, I think up there is uh, something you can grapple to. I will take a quick look at it in a moment. First of all, let's grab Big Key. Was it called Boss Key here? Big Key. Big Key. It's interesting how the Zelda games jump back and forth uh, with that. Sometimes, yeah. With either big key or boss key. Oh, sorry. How? Oh, oh, that took off an entire heart. Yeah, Be they careful. hit like they hit like, like trucks. How? But they can't hit like trucks. Is the thing. How? See, trucks. How? Okay. Does one of these things maybe drop fl uh, health? Oh yeah, they do. Good to know. Kids cut flowers. You get hearts from them. Yeah, done so. For some reason, neither of us hit there. Pick up. Put down. Thank you. <laughs> But not right now. I still need this thing to wreak some havoc. I cannot do this. Oh, the other one. Okay, apparently I killed the other one. No, I think they can't actually hurt each other. Apparently, one of them killed the other one. Which is good for me. I don't know why they would do something like this. They are really dumb in that way. So, I cannot go down there. Come on, jump up. So something to grapple to, yeah, there it is. But we are almost at time. Yeah, so I'm not gonna make it to the boss room. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. you're not gonna catch me. But you know what I'm gonna do? Fly, my pretties. The Koning Doggo is really not having a good day. 
Or she's dreaming about eating something the way she not bobs her head right now. Mm. Anyway, um, let's just make a quick map check. You can just pause, so we have to have it on the on the TV. Yeah, that's right. Because it's the end of your episode. Yeah, we're closing it off. So there's one room with a treasure chest here, still left in B1. Then we have not gotten to everything else we have gotten except for the boss room. But also, I don't think we want to go for all the treasure chests. No, because that's. Some backtracking there. Yeah. Rhea also has something. Well, since it's mostly just little collectibles and stuff and nothing right important that we're missing with those things, it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like you're gonna have to take on the boss in the next episode. No problem. I'm gonna go out here and. Could I just climb up on that without dying? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna stand here and look over, giving you a shifty eye. <laughs> and hope you had a fun time with this episode. We did. And hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.